Hi guys, welcome back to the Nerd Cave. You're looking at what will be the next project. We're going to feature this in several videos here on the channel. I picked this up from a uh, place last night. Uh, they were getting rid of it. Basically, it's not working. It has a picture tube uh, CRT, but it's missing all the electronics for that. Uh, we call that the chassis. It supposedly has a working game board, but we were unable to test it uh, while we were there. So that's one of the first things that I'll be doing to see if I can resell that board or not. And then uh, just going through doing a lot of cleanup on this cabinet. You can see we're missing the marquee up here. So I'm going to have to figure out something to do there. And uh, some of the wood is peeling, so I'll probably be patching up some of that as well. So stick around and see what I do with this. So inside you can see we are missing the uh, monitor chassis, the, the circuit board that runs the monitor, but we do have a picture tube along with the yokes attached to it, so I think I can get that working. Um, another area of concern is I just have some cut wires in here that I, right now, I'm not really sure what these wires go to, so I'm not going to power this up until I know what these go to. We don't want to start a fire or, you know, damage the board that's in here. So I'll show you guys how we check out all the voltages in here, make sure everything is safe before we actually connect that JAMA edge up to the board. So you can see the side art is pretty well shot on this, um, which is fine for me because I'm not going to keep this as primal rage anyways. In fact, my mister will end up in here so we can play a whole bunch of different arcade games in here. Um, but something I discovered on the other side is this peels and there is just a nice black underneath this that uh, actually doesn't look too bad. So I think that's probably how I'm, I'm going to keep it, at least for the short term, until I can decide what kind of artwork to put on the side. So I had considered keeping the JAMA harness inside of here. Uh, but I have no plans to ever put another JAMA board back in this cabinet. Also, this one, this game in particular, Primal Rage, is wired a little differently than most JAMA cabinets. The first button for each player is actually wired to the start button on the JAMA harness. And there is no regular start button up here on the uh, control panel. So we're going to fix that. I've got some buttons and new joysticks coming that will... Uh, hook up and get this wired correctly. All right, so we do appear to have the circuit board in here and I'm told that this is working. So I'm gonna try and test that with you guys and show that it's working. I'm gonna have to go and hook up my other monitor to this somehow um, because this monitor is not gonna be working for a little while. But uh, yeah, we'll test that out in a few minutes. Something else you always want to do uh, on a system like this before you test it for the first time is remove that JAMA edge from your circuit board. That way if any voltages are coming through this wiring that aren't correct, you don't risk damaging a good working board. Alright guys, so what I've done, I've removed every wire from this power supply except for our AC voltage in and ground. Um, I can see some damage to the power supply. I want to make sure that is working before I energize anything else in this cabinet. All right, well, I've got a good light on my power supply. That's a start. Looks like that's about as good as I'm going to get it. That should be close enough for this to work and for us to test this. Alright, so anybody doing this for the first time, uh, it's kind of overwhelmed by all the different wiring back here, you should know that there is a standard. The yellow wires, okay, will be 12 volts. It's the same as what you see in a computer power supply. Red wires are 5 volts. And then normally grounds are black, however, in my instance, they are brown. You definitely should have a multimeter if you're considering doing this work. And you can check those voltages there with the multimeter. You can do a continuity check between the wires that you suspect are ground and an actual ground point in the cabinet to make sure. 
I've got this connected. We've tested the voltage coming out of the power supply. So I'm going to go ahead and get the JAMA Edge reconnected here. And we'll turn it on and see if we get this game playing blindly. All right, moment of truth. Let's go. All right, well, I hear a sound. All right, well, I am just getting a repeated beeping, so I'm going to need to take a look at a service manual and see what that means. We'll be back. All right, guys, so what I have done is taken the video signals that would have went to the monitor here in the Primal Rage cabinet and hooked it up to the inputs on the arcade monitor that I normally use with my mister. I'm hoping that I can see something come up on the screen when I power this on. Maybe I can get an error code or understand why it's beeping. Unfortunately, we have nothing on the monitor, nothing on the screen. All right, so here's what I'm thinking on this arcade cabinet. It was never meant to be Primal Rage here at my house anyways. It's going to be a Mr. Multi-Setup for me. Um, so I'm going to move forward with my, my project on that and get this board out. I actually have a friend local to me that has a working Primal Rage cabinet. So I'll take this board by his house. We'll plug it into his cabinet and see if it works there or not. If it does, he intends to pick the board up from me, and if it doesn't, then I guess we'll sell it for scrap or for repair. All right, guys, well, I got this other uh, monitor up and running, and actually it looks like a pretty good monitor. Uh, I've got my chassis in the back, which I'll show you in a minute. And I do need to make a change here. Some of you may have noticed already, and if not, this might help. The, um, the yoke on this tube is wired reverse in the horizontal direction to what my board expects. So I need to swap the yellow and green wires back there on the back for it, on the yoke, which I'll show you how I do that in a few minutes here. But uh, overall, I, it needs a little bit of degaussing, but it's a, a pretty good looking monitor. So. All right, guys, so I got the power off to the monitor and to the cabinet now. These are the yellow and green wires that I need to reverse that I was talking about. These drive an electromagnetic coil that helps steer the beam around the monitor. All right, guys, so obviously I was wrong because the image went upside down. So green and yellow are my vertical yoke. Red and blue is my horizontal yoke. And had I did this a little more frequently, I would have remembered that. So the lesson here is always check Google before you start soldering. All right, well, that looks much better. It could probably be a little bit brighter, but I definitely need to degauss it. I've got some really bad colors up here, so I think I'm going to degauss it first, and then try and adjust the brightness up just a little bit. All right, guys. Well, as you can see, I got the monitor degaussed and adjusted. It's nice and bright and looks good. Uh, I also got sound working. I hooked it up to the same audio amp that I was using on my TV monitor. And uh, we're ready to go. I'm still waiting on controls to get here from Amazon. I'll get those wired up through a Damon Byte adapter. And uh, marquee, I need to get a marquee made. I've got plexiglass already that I'll cut. And um, I'll probably order just a poster print from Walgreens. I've done that before. It seems to work pretty well. And that's that's going to be most of it, guys. All right, guys, well, that's going to do it for part one on this cabinet. In part two, uh, I'm going to install the locks for the different coin doors and control panels that we've got and wire up the joysticks and controls. So stick around, and I, I hope you guys are enjoying. Thanks.